Well, hello, hello, hello. Time for another episode of Make Art with Mrs. M. I want to talk, talk to you today about an artist that makes these really cool pictures of this character called Blue Dog. This artist's name is George Rodriguez, and this Blue Dog character is so interesting. There's something about this dog's eyes that makes me wonder, hmm, what is he thinking? And I wonder, hmm, why is Blue Dog blue? Good questions, right? Let's get started. I'm going to start in near the middle of the page. I'm going to start with the dog's nose. I'm going to draw a rectangle that has rounded corners for the nose. There, the nose. Um, next thing I'm going to do is add the mouth. And the mouth to me looks almost like an upside down heart, but it doesn't have a point in the middle. It has a curve. So there's my upside down heart shape. I'm not going to close it in. And I'm definitely going to add a chin. Then uh, there's a part that goes up. This white part goes up, up, and then it's kind of bumpy across the top. It's not perfectly straight. This is Blue Dog. Okay, so uh, above this, I'm going to make a, an oval shape for the shape of this dog's head. Um, I'm not going to try to make it perfectly smooth because we are talking about a dog here. There. A dog that has fur and his face looks very furry. Um, starting right here at the side of this heart, just like I ended there, I'm going to continue this oval around and around and there. Okay, I'll add the eyes now. The eyes, they make me wonder what is Blue Dog looking at or what is he thinking? So I start with two small circles and then I go around them with a bigger circle around with a bigger circle a few times to make it thick enough and then I'm going to add uh, I see a little line that comes down right here in the corner of the eye near the nose and one that goes out this way and then it looks like blue dog has eyebrows that go up like that <laughs> okay um, there are some like dark circles around here, but I don't think I want to add that with my marker, but the ears, oh my gosh, these ears are so big. I'm going to start with the inner part of the ear. That's the dark part. I'm going to make that right on the left and one on the right, and then I'm going to go around it with a line that's not perfectly straight, that sort of has texture to show big dog, this big blue dog's big ears. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is working. Okay. All right. Um, the body is, um, the legs look really short to me. I don't know what breed of dog this is, but hey, it's okay. Um, the personality of this dog shines through, I'm sure. He's cute. So I'm going to make a line that comes down a little ways on both sides that starts right um, from the chin. I'm not going to make the body come from under the, the chin, um, the chin on his face, uh, like more the cheeks, the cheeks, not the chin. Okay. All right. So um, he is this, this leg kind of, the legs curve in just a little bit. So I'm going to do that. And then, um, Hmm. At some distance underneath the body here, um, there is where you can see the bottom of his belly, which is down here. All right, and now I can continue with the, this paw that comes down and moves to the side like this a little bit. And then there's this paw. Oh, not bad. Okay, okay. And then this one comes down and curves out. And there's that paw. Okay, there is another little paw that is hiding back here. So I add that. So now we have one, two, three paws. Lastly, um, back over here, Blue Dog's um, hip comes out and curves in. And then his little foot is sticking out back here. It just came straight out 
and he's sitting down. I don't see a tail. Maybe he's a breed of dog that has a very short tail. Um, I'd like to go back and add a little bit of furriness to his face with a line that looks like that. And sometimes uh, that will help uh, show the texture of an animal that's furry. It's just to add, um, it's almost like a zigzag line because I'm going back and forth like zigzags. Yeah, I am definitely am. I definitely am just making this look more dogish. <laughs> look more dogish by adding extra fur there. Yeah. And I think I, I, I think I changed my mind. I think I like the way those lines, those just those little lines there, um, make him look. Uh, maybe he's scared. Maybe that's what we're seeing. That he saw something frightening. <laughs> Most times when a dog is frightened, what do they do? They bark. Yeah. So maybe he's he's just too stunned to bark right now. Oh my blue dog. I like this dog. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. But guess what? This artist didn't always make his dogs blue. And this photo of the artist, I can see a little red dog. Oh, and way back here, I think I see a green one. I think sometimes he just had fun with this character and made the dogs different colors. So I'm going to leave it up to you what color your dog will be. Totally up to you. You be the artist. <laughs> and I, I really love that this artist has a passion for, maybe this was a pet that he had. And he paints it and he paints it in so many different ways that it's never boring. And I'm really just enjoying this experience of drawing today. Can you tell? Can you tell I'm just going back and going back over my lines and making them a little thicker? I'm going to add color. I don't know what color, but you know, we all have our favorite colors. Maybe George's favorite color is blue. Or maybe his dog was named blue. That's a possibility. I would name a dog after a color. I would. There. I had fun sharing that with you today. I hope you had fun drawing with me. Now it's up to you. Give it a color. Oh, and you can add flowers too on the side. Let me do that real quick. These flowers are simple. Just a simple five petal flower. One, two, three, four, five. And one over here. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And the inside is not a perfect circle. Looks like there's something that looks like a little squishy diamond and then um, a sort of wavy line around it. I think that's what I'm seeing. And then the stem comes down. And I always draw two lines so I can color the stem in. And the stem comes down over here. Notice that they're curved. Stems are never perfectly straight in nature. This artist seemed to know that. And I'll leave here. And I'll leave here. Yes. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed that today. Come back and draw with me again. And remember, you never you never use up your creativity. It, it just makes you smarter and makes you more creative to get creative and do things. So come back and draw with me again.